Welcome to the installation video for the Brizo Prestige Tankless Reverse Osmosis System, including a Brizo beverage faucet. Before you begin, ensure there's a hole in the sink or countertop that can accommodate the beverage faucet. This hole should be between 1.25 to 1.5 inches in diameter. An unswitched outlet in the sink cabinet will also be necessary to complete this installation because this appliance requires constant power. It is recommended to dry fit the reverse osmosis unit, making sure there is mounting space for the pre-filter and optional remineralizer prior to installation to ensure it will fit properly under your cabinet. It is recommended to position the unit directly under the beverage faucet to ensure the hoses can reach the unit, pre-filter, and remineralizer. It is important to minimize the distance between these components to ensure the hoses can connect properly and the hoses have enough slack for service or replacement of the filters. Also, consider the direction from which the drain line will be coming. For example, if the beverage faucet with an air gap is positioned on the right side of the sink, the air gap drain line needs to face that direction. Additionally, be sure to provide enough clearance for making connections in later steps. The unit must be installed in an upright position, and it is important to avoid installing in areas where temperatures may drop below freezing or where the unit may be exposed to direct light or heat. The system is specifically designed for potable water only and should be supplied exclusively with cold water. This video will also cover the installation of the optional remineralizer cartridge. The remineralizer cartridge is designed to enhance the pH of the water, which some users may prefer. Note that this cartridge is not included with the system and must be purchased separately. At this point, turn off the hot and cold water supply stops under the sink. Then turn the kitchen faucet on to the full mix position to relieve any pressure in the water system. Once you're ready to begin installation, gather the following tools and let's get started. Place the faucet in the designated mounting hole on the sink or countertop, feeding the supply lines through the hole on the deck. Moving underneath the sink, use the included mounting bracket and nut to secure the faucet in place. The mounting bracket has a flat side that should be facing up towards the deck. Slide the mounting bracket up the shank, allowing the supply lines to gather on the opposite side and tighten in place using the nut and included wrench. Ensure the alignment of the beverage faucet above the deck prior to fully tightening in place. Begin by disconnecting the current supply line from the cold water supply. Attach the cold water supply to the T adapter. Then connect the T adapter to the supply stop. If a check valve is present, it must be placed between the provided T adapter and your kitchen faucet supply line. At this point, it is crucial to ensure that the T adapter is in the off position. Confirm this by checking that the T adapter valve handle is perpendicular to the flow of water coming out of the side of the T adapter. Once confirmed, turn on both the hot and cold supply stops and check for leaks at all connection points. If no leaks are detected, proceed to the next step of the installation. Gather the drain saddle that is included with your packaging. The drain saddle consists of two pieces that clamp together around the existing drain line under the sink, allowing wastewater from the system to flow through the drain saddle and into the existing drain line. There are a few important aspects to note about the drain saddle itself. The included drain saddle is designed for a 1.5 inch drain line for both horizontal or vertical installations. If your drain line is a different size, you would need to purchase an appropriate adapter. If an alternate drain line adapter is being used, it should include a 3 8 push to connect fitting. Please note, a 3 8 inch to 1 4 inch step reducer has been included in your packaging if you plan to connect the 1 4 inch drain line directly to the 3 8 inch drain saddle. If installing the drain saddle on a horizontal pipe, ensure the hole is on top of the drain to allow wastewater to flow directly into the main drain line and not get clogged up by debris. Use half of the drain saddle with the drain connection to test fit a location. Ensure the chosen spot is before the P-trap and is smooth and straight. Once satisfied with the location, mark the spot on the drain pipe for drilling a hole. It is recommended to first drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole to ensure the 3 8 inch drill bit remains centered on the curved surface of the drain pipe. 
be extremely careful as to drill only through one side to the drain pipe and not all the way through to the other side. With the hole drilled, you can now install the drain saddle. Begin by using the included gasket, which has an adhesive backing on one side. Peel off the protection backing to expose the adhesive and ensure the adhesive side is facing the drain saddle and is perfectly centered over the hole. Then press it down firmly into place. Next, place the drain saddle over the drilled hole and secure it in place with the included nuts and bolts. To ensure proper alignment, insert a pencil or small Phillips head screwdriver through the side of the drain saddle until it enters the previously drilled hole. This confirms the correct alignment between the drain saddle and the main drain. Once properly aligned, continue tightening the bolts on each side until snug. Ensure the connection is watertight without over-tightening. Place the pre-filter in a provided C-clip and locate the ideal spot to mount it. When choosing the placement of the C-mounts for the pre-filter and remineralizer, be sure not to drill into any plumbing or electrical systems behind the walls or into appliances and adjacent cabinets. Mark the location for the C-clip. Remove the filter from the clip and mark the pilot hole. Depending on your wall material, use the appropriate provided hardware to secure it into place using either the provided wood screws or solid wall anchors. At this point, you can leave the pre-filter out of the C-clip. If installing the optional remineralizer cartridge, repeat the same steps using two C-clips, ensuring you have clearance on the top and bottom to attach an elbow and tube in a later step. You will mount the remineralizer into the C-clips in a later step as well. Gather the two white 3-8-inch hoses from your packaging. One hose is 20 inches long and the other is 39 inches. Start by taking the longer hose and connecting it to the T-adapter that you installed to your cold supply in an earlier step. To do this, unscrew the nut on the side of the T-adapter, slip the nut over the end of the hose with the threads facing the T-adapter, and then push on the end of the hose onto the barb fitting of the T-adapter. Once the hose is securely pushed against the edge of the T-adapter, slide the nut back over the threads and tighten to ensure a watertight connection. After making the initial connection, proceed to flush the lines. This involves running water through the tube from the T-adapter for approximately 10 seconds to clear any debris that may have entered during installation. Use a bucket to catch the water and turn on the T-adapter to allow water to flow. Once the line is flushed and with pre-filter removed from the C-clip, Connect the hose to the bottom inlet of the pre-filter. Note the large arrow on the pre-filter indicating the direction of water flow. Remove the plug from the inlet of the pre-filter and push the hose into the quick connector until the reference line on the hose fully disappears. Then use an included quick connector locking plate on the bottom of the push connector to prevent accidental removal. Follow the steps for the outlet of the pre-filter. Remove the plug. Take the shorter length of the hose and push it straight down until the reference line fully disappears. Then use an included locking plate to click over the bottom of the push connector. Next, take the end of the hose from the outlet of the pre-filter and connect it to the back of the RO system in the port, labeled in. Remove the existing plug by holding the outer compression ring down and pulling out the plug. Line up the hose from pre-filter with the back of the system and push it straight down into the push connector until the reference line fully disappears. Secure this connection with another locking plate. At this point, you can wait to place the pre-filter into the C-clips until you put your RO unit in its final place. If any of the tubing must be cut shorter and cuts off the existing depth mark, make a new mark 5-8 inch from the end of the tube to use as a reference line to ensure the hoses are seated at a proper depth. If cutting is necessary, use a PEX cutter to ensure the cuts are straight and smooth. This is important for future servicing of the system. The methods for connecting the waistline will vary depending on whether your beverage faucet has an integrated air gap or not. If the faucet does not have an integrated air gap, proceed to step 7 for instructions. For faucets with an air gap, there should be three hoses extending from the bottom of the faucet. In this example, a Brizo beverage faucet is used, but the hoses should be labeled similarly regardless of the faucet brand. 
we'll first prepare to attach the drain line from the air gap to the drain saddle. Dry fit this line, ensuring it travels smoothly from the air gap to the drain saddle without any dips, loops, or kinks to allow gravity to pull the water down effectively. If the drain saddle is installed on a vertical pipe, ensure the line remains straight. The same principle applies if the drain saddle is on a horizontal pipe. The drain line must not have any kinks or dips to drain effectively. Hold the drain line next to the drain saddle and mark the location for cutting to the appropriate length. Then proceed to cut the line using PEX cutters, ensuring a clean and straight cut. Next, align the drain line with the drain saddle and push the hose fully into the saddle and lock it into place with a locking plate. Now focus on the two lines coming down from the faucet. For this specific faucet, the line will be the quarter inch red tube. You're going to connect this to the port on the RO unit labeled waste. As before, remove the plug and connect the air gap line to the waste and lock it into place with a locking plate. This completes the installation steps for a faucet with an integrated air gap. If your faucet does not have an integrated air gap, follow the subsequent installation steps. First, turn off the hot and cold supply stops. If the beverage faucet does not have an integrated air gap, connect the waste line from the RO system directly to the drain saddle. Begin by using the included stem reducer, which reduces the diameter of the drain saddle from 3 8 inch to 1 quarter inch. Insert the adapter fully into the drain saddle, ensuring it is seated at at least 5 8 of an inch. Align the drain saddle and push the adapter in with force until it's fully seated. Secure it with a locking plate. Next, connect the included quarter inch red hose to the drain saddle. Push it in until the reference line disappears and lock it into place with the locking plate. Finally, remove the plug from the waste port, connect the line, and lock it into place with the locking plate. If you are not using this optional remineralizer, you'll simply connect the faucet supply line directly to the back of the RO system at the connection point, labeled pure, and you can proceed to step nine. If you're using the optional remineralizer cartridge, please continue. To install the remineralizer cartridge, first remove the protective caps from the top and bottom of the cartridge. Next, install the included elbows to the top and bottom nipples of the cartridge by placing it over the nipple and applying pressure to push it down until it's fully seated. Note that the cartridge is directional with a top and a bottom. Next, connect the white 1 4th inch tube, which is pre-marked and included with the system, to the back of the RO unit at the port labeled pure. Then secure the connection with the locking plate. Insert the other end of the tube into the elbow on the top of the remineralizer cartridge and lock it into place with the locking plate. Then move to the bottom of the remineralizer cartridge and connect the faucet supply line from the beverage faucet into the elbow on the bottom of the remineralizer cartridge and lock it into place with the locking plate. Finally clip the remineralizer into the two mounted C-clips Now that all connections are made, prepare the initial system startup. First, place your unit under the cabinet, careful not to cause any undue pressure or kinks on any of the lines. Ensure the unit is on a level surface and perfectly upright, also ensuring it does not touch the cabinet wall, plumbing, or other appliances to avoid vibration and increase noise levels. You can now clip in the pre-filter into the mounted C-clip and check that the two filters in the RO unit are in the locked position. Additionally, confirm the beverage faucet on the countertop is in the off position. Once these checks are complete, supply water to the system by turning on the T adapter at the cold water supply stop and verify that both the hot and cold supply stops are open. You can now plug in the unit to initiate the system startup, which will last approximately five minutes. During this time, the system will make noises and the lights on the front will activate. This is normal and should not cause concern. While the system startup is running, it is advisable to inspect each connection point to ensure there are no leaks. Once the unit goes quiet, the system will be ready to be flushed. This step is crucial for optimal performance, as the filters need to be fully saturated. To flush the system, turn on the beverage faucet and allow it to run for 30 minutes. If the water runs for more than 33 minutes, the system will begin to beep. To reset the system and stop the beeping, Simply unplug the unit for 10 seconds and plug it back in. 
This concludes the installation for your Brizo Prestige Tankless Reverse Osmosis System and Beverage Faucet. For any inquiries regarding the lights and sounds on your unit, please consult the user guide included in your packaging. Alternatively, you can contact Brizo Customer Service for assistance.